Hi everyone, welcome to the fashion experiment. It's Dr. Bridget, your professor of all things fashion, and I'm back with another trim video. I'm continuing to provide an overview of the trends for fall 23 and winter 2024. Um, last week I covered the major theme ideas that the trends for this season are based on, and now I'm going to provide more detail into each of the three trends so you really need to check out my overview video today we're gonna dive into the care culture theme and I love care culture because it's exactly what it says let's be a more caring culture a more caring world and earth all right so the basis of this theme is consumers are continuing to seek meaning in their lives, um, purpose, and value. And it's really about caring for you first. So that's like self-care, which is, you know, very big and huge. That really evolved from um, us experiencing the pandemic. So self-care first, taking care of you, your home, and just continuing to extend that care out to your community, to our planet. So that's like the basis of this theme idea. And the looks that have um, stemmed from this really focus on the self-care because you have to take care of yourself before you can be of help to anyone else, right? So <clears throat> Homebound really speaks to the first step in care culture, caring for yourself, caring for your home and the people in your immediate space. And what that looks like and what it speaks to is, as far as a look and a style, is um, comfort. And you're going to see that when I get into the looks in the next video. Lots and lots of comfort. And then this is the homebound interpretation for menswear. So... All the major theme ideas are interpreted for um, men and women, and in some cases, youth and children. Okay, and it's it's just a deep dive into your home and the things in your immediate environment that bring you comfort and help you explore what it takes for you to care for yourself and to be you know, a whole, complete, healthy person. So that's what hobby core speaks to. And then the underlying idea that is going to consistently run through all the themes is sustainability. And that's going to keep um, being present um, in the fashion industry. Like we're heavily, heavily focusing, trying to build, rebuild, reestablish um, an industry that is more sustainable, that operates in a way that is not damaging to the earth or damaging to other people. And then nature commutes. So now we're slowly moving out of the home now into the community, but still comfort is king. And I talked about that last fall winter. That was one of um, the videos that I did. Um, Supreme comfort was the, um, the, the look. So nature co commute really is that I'm bridging you in your home now moving into the community, maintaining your self-care, maintaining your comfort, and um, those ideals of finding purpose in your work and your world is now going to begin to evolve in the looks. Hypercrafted speaks to <clears throat> you bringing your ideas about what it means to be Caring for yourself, caring for your home, caring for your family, caring for your communities to the world in an authentic way. That's why where the craft part is. And again, using existing materials in nature, existing natural materials, repurposing old materials also speaks to the whole craft idea. All right. And that's was a theme that was relevant this spring, summer. Um, and again, you see it here. It's like we continue to see these same ideas um, from one season to the next, reinterpreted in different ways and making different connections. And remember, it's about people, you know, you and I, so we don't just instantly make a change. So that's why you see 
the same themes or similar themes just gravitating and expanding and taking different form. All right. Minimalist Luxe Lounge. This was another big look um, connected to care culture next to this comfort idea. So the idea of using these classic garment styles that I talked about in the um, overview of the major themes um, to create to create a look, to create a look that brings you the comfort that you're seeking and is meaningful in that basing your wardrobe off of classic styles um, allows you to continue to wear these looks and not throw away your garments or you know, set them aside the next season and keep rebuying, rebuying, rebuying because that's the behavior that, you know, creates pollution. You want to begin to create a new thought pattern for consumers that um, includes sustainable practices and sustainable ways of thinking about how we dress ourselves. And that is what the minimalist and the not-so-classic classic looks speak to. So these are other looks that are stemming from the care culture theme idea. And then digital lux lounge. So it's just different ways to interpret the new classic. And that's what the lux lounge is. And you'll see that um, in the coming weeks as a, a major look too. And then we're gonna wrap up with primal warmth. And this just speaks to our color palette for um, this fall winter, which I'll do a video on, of course. And the colors that are like the standout colors are warm colors, right? And that's not surprising. We're looking for comfort. We're looking for purpose and meaning in life and warm color tones speak to that. And warmth, you know, just the word, you know, just speaks to a coziness, a cozy environment, some a, a feel good, color you know it, it evokes positive feelings is what i'm saying and then our color for the year is this like warm peachy apricot color so you got to stay tuned for the color trends for 1 and 24 all right and then this is just the women's wear slide for primal warmth as i said all the theme ideas are interpreted for both men's wear and women's wear all right, so this, this brings me to the end of this video. Stay tuned for key items um, associated with the care culture theme idea. And check out other videos on my channel. I will be back soon. Bye.